Ooh, all right, guys, get ready for this. This is going to be quite an interesting unboxing. I've decided to add another transformer, but a animal robot to my collection. So a little bit of a spoilers there. This isn't your typical humanoid robot mecha. It's kind of like a Bakugan of different sorts. It's been something that's been under the radar. And guess what? It is a beast box for those of you who haven't seen it before. If you have seen it before, then you probably already knew. I like that. That's such a cool kind of retro comic book style look to it. You can tell this was drawn with like pencil and pen and they kind of scanned it on there. But uh, I really dig it. I appreciate it for sure. Tells you here, produced by 52 Toys, mechanical design by, it says, I guess, Saibuku22. Go oh, ahead and unbox this. Take one last look at the box. It says here, caution, do not destroy it. Do not smash it or throw it into a fire. But let's go ahead and open this up. And as it says here, release the beast. Although this thing I don't think is going to be quite ferocious at all. <laughs> I think it's going to be a lot more uh, cute and adorable. So there you go. That's the, in the uh, inside contents. And it looks like it comes with this cool box here. It's uh, clear. There's some, I guess, some peg holes here to hinge it onto something. And... Perhaps they have other accessories. And here's a spoiler. Well, would you look at this? It is an awesome penguin in beast mode from the box. And again, unlock, lock, caution, forbidden. So I guess it tells you what things you can do and what to be careful with so you don't break it. And what's really cool is I guess this is four penguins. It says here magnetically connected into one. So you get, for the price of one, you almost get like a quad changer, essentially. Um, oh, wow, you can even change the uh, emotion here on the eyes. Uh, it can also transform into its belly slide mode. You can also shake the head like a real penguin. And it comes with this little tail or something here. Wow, dude, please keep away from children. Yes, this is for adult collectors only. My friends, did you hear that? What it says right there. Be careful when unpacking and disposing because of sharp parts, etc., etc. Okay. Well, it also comes shrink wrapped. All right. So now I am going to take off the uh, shrink wrap. Whoa. This is fun because I have another uh, small beast box, but um, they generally are actual cubes. And here's a scale to it, to like a, a Bakugan. I think it's such an awesome compliment. But now they do geogons that come in different shapes as well that can be more like uh, square and flat and edgier and stuff like that. But normally these beast boxes are going to transform like that Bakugan, right? From like its shape into a creature. But this, this actually contains four penguins. Like how awesome is this? Like super cool. And that, that way you get to make a fun little troop of penguins. Is that what they're called? A squad, <laughs> a little gang. I, I think gang is probably the best um, best word for the, the penguins I got in here. And then, of course, it comes with this little um, plastic pouch. Let me go ahead and open this as well. So we get here, his name is Ice Cube, the profile. Man, he's like a rapper or something? <laughs> and for some reason, it has stats here. So, yeah, it even says right here, Ice Cube is a team. They grow up together, play together, fish together, and even sleep together. The only thing makes them that or makes them argue is that who shall claim the crown? Well, they can all be a team and claim the crown. Oh, that's what that piece is in here. So they kind of each have a, they only give you one of those. So they kind of each have a claim to the throne, I guess, to be the king penguin. Wow, 2018, huh? 52 toys. Yeah, I think that's fun too. Great little trading card to have. Um, and then I guess here is, there you go. We'll take a quick look at this, a checklist that shows some other ones released with the wave. Uh, so basically, hint, hint, I do have a spoiler. I do have a version of this, although it's not an official beast box. I did buy a kind of a third party knockoff just to see what they were like, which is why now I'm like, let me get the official ones. Cause I do have one version of this kind, which doesn't look as good as the regular ones. So I'll just tell you here in case I don't do a video on it, but I probably will show it sometimes. But I have kind of a version of the Sakura Dio, which doesn't have the purple accents. But this looks like a whole collection of just the, uh, kind of like the Raptor style. I guess they call it Dio. All these different colors, looks great. 
Uh, and on the back here, wow, now they get even more epic. See, here's a Metal War Tale. Jojo, man, it's like almost reminds me of um, Optimus Prime from Beast Wars. And then, uh, oh, I like this. This looks like the Toki from um, Toe Boss, you guys will see later on. Troll or Beast. And then that front part looks exactly like it. I'll, I'll uh, you know what? Let me just grab it because I have it right over here. Boom! This is from the South Korean um, animation Tobots, but yeah, I really dig mammoths. Woolly mammoths are really cool. Um, I think they're fun, and there's also looks like a, I don't know, is that like a rhino version or something? Um, man, I might have to grab one of these then too. This family of them. Look, you got the elephants, you got MoMA, Neon Blue MoMA. Yeah, that looks crazy cool, man. That looks great. These uh, Mecha. Oh, and also I got one from, um, what is it called? Mechard. But yeah, so these are really, really cool. BBFD, Neon Blue Delta, Vanguard. Yeah, so this is more the, tri like, I guess the Triceratops, now if I'm not mistaken or something. Uh, and here's some other JoJo's, right? The Flame, the Neon Blue, and then the regular one here. And I guess Metal War Tail is the one that's black. So anyways, there you guys go. Here's another preview of like what else you can buy from this wave. But yeah, if you look up uh, 52 Toys and the Beast Box, uh, there's way, way more, but this is great. I haven't actually seen all of them like this. So what I'll do really quick now, I'll just transform one of them. Kind of figure out how to do it, but yeah, here they are. Um, I didn't read the instructions, so I'm going to be careful. I don't want to break this thing, but they seem it seems pretty straightforward. I guess the tail, yeah, comes out like that. Arm comes out, arm comes out. And you know what's interesting? It looks so drunk. Oh, I see. So this is really nice. There's underneath here, the where the chin is, there's a gear. And that's where you can rotate and move the eyes. See, now he's like, eyes are closed. And then here's the regular eyes. Wow, that is really, really cool. This is a wonderful little art piece for sure. For sure. And then let me quickly grab the crown. All right, so here's the container. I took the crown out of the package. And here it is. So we're going to go ahead and... Put it on him now and yeah look at that that is so adorable just like how the penguins shake their head you can tilt it this is great this is such a wonderful transforming piece of art and if you look on the inside too it looks like he has a boom box in there or something like that so there you go you can see inside it does have some more details right underneath the neck and the chest area that's very welcome um and again i love i like how okay so they each have so this has number 83 on it number 84 diamond clubs so that's kind of cool how they gave them all a number and like a suit of cards you got the 81 the diamond so who's number 82 with the heart so it goes 81 to 84 and you know what's really cool to see on the back yeah and oh yeah the back looks really nice too they all have the same symbol here I like that yellow detail and like the vents in the back giving it that mecha look and also down there but yeah these are so fun guys i'll have to do another video later on transforming like all four of them oh and sorry let's put the crown on before i forget oh and let's do i guess it's kind of like he's angry it's like it's like a happy one okay no there's there's three so yeah and then this it looks like it just has a slot that you plug into the back right there super simple and there you go lo and behold got clubs as the king right now wearing the crown and you know what makes this also really nifty and fun is it's a combiner. If you think about this, it's some form of a combiner or almost like a quad changer or something like that. Some weird amalgamation or mixture of the two. You know, I really like combiner robots that transform. These ones kind of, you know, I guess combine into a box or a cube, but that's still super cool. So yeah, here they are. Again, there's gonna be four of them. Uh, really awesome and you can like change again their eyes you can switch the crown around and uh, at the very end I guess I can do this really quick I'll transform this guy back all right yeah this definitely reminds me of like a uh, Bakugan for sure and then the magnets I guess are oh wait, and the feet looks like oh yeah you got to clip the toes into the peg so they stay you can definitely feel the magnet on from the inside on, that, that uh, basically connects the force. And then on the feet also, there's like this little, I guess you can see the hole right there for the peg for the other one. So then that way you know that these two will go together like so. And so on same thing, on each side, it looks like it's going to be the right foot. So you get ready to line that up. You pop it in a place and you feel the magnet do that. And then for the last one, you gotta kind of line them up and just get it like that perfect 
Super fun. And then, I guess, well, what would I do with the crown? I guess I could put the crown, like, right there or something in the meantime. I mean, this doesn't, doesn't seem to technically go in there. But what I want to do is I want to put it, I guess, inside here. And that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, perfect. There you guys go. Boom. Beast box mode assembled. And it says here box charger. It says caution goes up this way. But yeah, I haven't gotten any other ones with the actual container. So I'm sure you you have something to attach these to. You know, I don't know, some kind of display. I don't know if it rotates or just fixed in a place or something. But there you guys go. This is awesome. I'll definitely be grabbing some more of these. Again, I think they complement um, Bakugan extremely well. Also, I mean, they just are great for other transforming toys. Um, I'll definitely show scales with this later on as well. But definitely going to look at some more beast boxes and see what other animals that I like. And I think you guys should do the same. Don't forget to uh, check out their website. Look up Beast Box, you know, 52 toys and see what else they've been releasing. Again, there should be a plethora. should be numerous uh, ones. I remember when I was glancing and this one caught my eye. I saw a lot of them. There's like a parrot. There is like one or two. I saw two that were kind of like warrior humans, humanoid-ish. So I'm sure that you'll find one that also uh, catches your attention. All right, guys. Thanks so much, my fellow Super Fun Force, for hanging out with Captain Gamesta. Don't forget... Stay thankful, keep those positive vibes, stay blessed, say your prayers, keep your faith, and also tell your loved ones you love them. All right, guys, like and subscribe, and I'll be bringing more awesome videos. Peace.